inspired by singers Madame X. But we're making it a bit more contemporary, a little bit more of today. We're making it a little bit bigger, a little bit more undone. The word we were trying forever to figure out how to translate into French for Tom was lurid, because that was the best way we could think of to describe the colors we wanted on the woman's face. But like decadence with heady romance attached to it. Derek Lamb was inspired by the late Danish author Isaac Dinesen for his latest show. It's not such an obscure inspiration. She was, after all, the authoress of Out of Africa. But there was no sunlight on the savannah with this show. Instead, he was referring to her dark Scandinavian period when she wrote a book called Seven Gothic Tales. We love Derek Lamb. I mean, if you look at all the fashion editors here, half of them are wearing Derek Lamb, so I think it's going to be a good show. It's a combination of intense, but also very relaxed. Uh, it's inspired by Isaac Dinesen, one of my favorite writers, and I was reading her biography and fascinated by this dichotomy she had in her life where she was reaching a heroic self, but she was also kind of fluctuating with the fact that she comes from a very bourgeois family. I think it's pretty fabulous that he read Judith Thurman's biography of Dennison and came up with this vision of a very fierce, sexy, modern woman that looks very 21st century. His muse was someone who lived 100 years ago, but who was also someone very, very contemporary and independent. He's like a real American designer with great, great sensibility. It's sporty, it's sexy, it's glamorous. And he has that little bit of European flair, too, that just gives it that differential kind of component that you're always looking for. I do think, you know, that that sense of aristocracy goes completely through the collection. And I think what women will like about this is that although the fabrics are ultra-luxurious, which I think is a very much the statement of recession, we're not in a recession, you know, let's make everything as rich-looking as possible. He said he's very keen on emphasizing that he's not the cocktail dress guy. Right. We've been talking a lot about sort of luxury day wear again and, and moving away from... The, the rough girl or the pretty girl and moving back to the woman, the strength. I loved the whole thing. And I particularly thought the evening dresses were so elegant, but very cool. Not old lady elegant, just cool, young, chic fashion star. What can you imagine Isaac herself wearing from this collection? One of the last evening dresses, I think, would perhaps tickle her. I would hope that she wore that dress for breakfast. <laughs>